back today guys to the channel top 10 drifts of the week is back for the first time in 2022 uh just kind of a random day posting this huge thank you to everybody that showed support on these last few months you know asking me to bring back top 10 drifts now i did a little bit of a uh, compilation episode last time around but it just it didn't hit right to me right i didn't have that top 10 feel it was just kind of going through clips today i have narrowed it down to 10 clips handpicked out of our team slab discord now if you guys have not already joined into there make sure you guys go ahead and do so i will leave a link down below for you guys to take a look at and that will be the new way to send in your clips for top 10 drifts moving forward now if you guys don't know um i am now a thrustmaster brand ambassador so super exciting news I just told you guys that last episode, but moving forward though, I'm going to try to get you guys some giveaways for these top 10 drifts. Maybe do a random entry for everybody that's, you know, in the episode and then we'll pull a prize at the end of it kind of thing, right? That's my thoughts. Let me know yours down below, but hopefully maybe I can work something in with Thrustmaster, get you guys set up with a few pieces of equipment out but there. big plans for 2022 though. Obviously we have Gran Turismo 7 dropping uh, in less than a month. It's like what, like less than 15 days now. It is fast approaching. Coaching. I still need to go to GameStop to pre-order my version so I will be picking that up the morning of posting content that day as well too so make sure you guys do stay subscribed post notifications click the bell for all future content huge thank you to everybody coming around though for today's top 10 drifts uh, before we start today though dad joke of the day coming from Jebel Kujo and he goes a dog cannot operate an MRI machine but a cat scan but a cat scan you gotta say it fast, I guess, to really understand the joke, right? That was a bad one, man. Leave me your dad jokes down below. Do you got a better one? That's the definition of a dad joke. You turn to look at your dad. You're like, really, dad? Come on now, right? Now, if you guys are brand new to Top 10 Drifts, I've been posting these uh, Top 10, you know, kind of montages for probably, what, like six, seven years? I don't know how many I've done. I think I've done hundreds of these things, but I figured we bring it back for the month of February. Uh, happy Valentine's Day for everybody. Hopefully you had a great weekend, great week. Um, and just moving forward, a great 2021, right? That's the biggest thing moving forward. Just more positivity in your life if you have not already. What you guys are watching right now, though, are honorable mentions from the week that you guys have been sending them in. Um, obviously, not all the clips will make it into the top 10, unfortunately. And it's, right, it's a hard job to pick the 10 clips that make it in because there's so many good clips out there. So just a huge thank you to everybody with your driving skill, your editing skills, putting these all together. Because obviously, without you guys, there is no top 10 drift. So I really do appreciate the time that you guys put in. And, you know, in turn, I wanted to put in the same amount of time. So I tried to get the best quality clips that I could for this week's top 10. And I wanted to do it right. So it didn't matter matter if you sent in your clips with a download link or a YouTube link, I watched it and I picked it if I liked it. So I was able to actually screen cap the entire Discord server and then just kind of, you know, cut down the clips um, and then throw the names over onto it as well too. So we have the Discord names finally for these top 10s. We know who's driving, which is a big thing, right? If you're submitting your clip, I feel like you need to get the credit for what we're looking at out here. So like I said, huge thank you. These are the Discord members that have been putting them in. Um, also too, I have included some of the YouTube channels if it's from a YouTube link or a Discord link and uh, just trying to make it look visually appealing for you guys. So hopefully you do enjoy this week's top 10. We are slowly approaching to the start of today's countdown. It is a little bit longer because of the fact that, I mean, we haven't done this for a long time. I wanted to make sure I was able to talk to you guys a little bit, let you know what's going on moving forward for top 10. It's back and I think it's better than ever, right? I mean, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Obviously, it's gonna depend on the clips that we get. And I've been getting some pretty good clips out here. This week is no exception on the top 10. And I think we're starting off with quite the bangers out here. Even the honorable mentions. We had PSP clips right here coming in from Ikea. And this man is killing it in the Subaru. Kind of makes me want to bring out the PSP a little bit. And that's kind of why I like doing these series, right? You just go back, you look at older clips that, you know, games that maybe you aren't even playing anymore or thought of playing. You're like, hey. I want to play that, right? So maybe you get a little bit of inspiration from today's top 10 clips, from the honorable mentions, from the montages at the end to make your own and just be a little bit more creative, right? That's one of the things that I want to do moving forward in this year is just being more creative with my clips. And the way that I'm actually taking these clips, I'm able to kind of do things like this now that I couldn't do before. So we're uh, watching here CDT Bando. Unfortunately, I uh, did not make the top 10 this week. Really good clips. I love them. I love the fact that we have the wheel, but I mean, these are decisions that I had to make a little bit and it sucks sometimes because obviously I love the clip. 
we have to kind of put into perspective, you know, what they are. Are they solo runs, tandems, you know, the game that we're playing, what they're using, the creativity behind the clip as well too. Has it been done before? All of those play a role in how I pick the clips, I feel like, right? I mean, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts if you're for or against the countdown for today. Starting off number 10, Timbo, an angry doggo 988 with a nice little uh, creative section on car X drift racing in the parking lot. This is the things that I want to see. Creativity and lots of it here. Number nine, a set of Corsa, Samuel Morandin here on English Town, and they're running the nice little figure eight section. This is actually becoming really popular in a lot of games. It's getting added in. Uh, you know, maybe Forza will take note. Maybe we'll start seeing some of these kind of drift layouts on some of these console games rather than just the PC side of things, right? I don't know. That would be pretty cool to see. Hopefully, Forza, you know, has something up their sleeves because GT7 is coming out, swinging out here this year. So, right, it's going to be big. Number eight, Jamie Healy. Now, he did say this was his actual qualification run for this event, and I think he scored about an 87 or so. So, I mean, this was a wild run. I don't know how he only got an 87 out there. The judges are so strict on these things. It's crazy, um, you know, how much work these people put in to really compete hard. Uh, number seven, UCXT Parker and UCXT Anthony uh, coming with a nice little tandem run we got the mustang super combination surprise they didn't end up colliding to become the ray that's all i'm saying i mean they did a little bit of tapping was it was it much no but i'd like to see that chase car getting on the door there pushing that run a little bit not too much where it's you know a bully in a sense but you know you're just trying to keep that pressure on the lead car and he did a fantastic job on here anthony always right behind you with these tunes i don't know how they do it these guys are good, man. They are consistent. They're good. And, uh, right, I've had the pleasure to drift with a few of these guys before. And it's just, it's, it's another breed of drifting, right? It's, it's totally different than what I'm used to. It's a little bit slower. The tandems are a lot cleaner, uh, right? They make it look easy out there. Number six, Kelvin Tola. I thought this originally was a set of Corsa. If you said that, you would be wrong. This is R Factor, one of the games that uh, I think I need to revisit. Now, this has been quite some time since I played it. I do believe my last time was playing with Taylor Ray, and that was a very long time ago, then moved on to a set of Corsa, but this is where you really put your driving skills to the test is R Factor, right? That, it's it's a classic game, and I, you know, I played it a little bit on my first few Sims, but that is one of the games that I think everybody first played when they got into it, but, right? We have another huge clip here. Grand Theft Auto 5 sliding in at number 5. We have Twist and Suzuya with a really nice team burst run here. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? It's Grand Theft Auto 5, 5M. The handling, super easy, right? But... I had to give it to these guys. The difficulty level on this is very high. I, for one, if you missed it, he just jump drifted and hit the overtake, and then he's going to go back onto the position that he started on. Uh, just an absolute run by both drivers. Very clean, consistent. It looked very good. And, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, they are very close on the proximity, on the transitions. 10 out of 10, I'd watch it again, right? This was a really good clip. Huge thank you for sending these in. And that's, you know, it gets hard when you get down to these top five clips. There's so many good ones. Number four here, Ali Raza on ride four. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's two wheels. How are we going to see a drift on two wheels? Well, however, this man has cracked the code on this game and he's figured out how to get this thing sideways. I tried this on this game. It is not an easy thing to do out here. You will find yourself flying off the bike very easily. This man kills it and hits a fat wheelie at the end 10 out of 10 on style points love the clip huge thank you for sending that in i love to see the ride for clips i really do number three though uh samuel mcbrandon sliding in here somehow i didn't actually mean to do this however he's going to take a double spot on this top 10 i mean it just goes to show you if you send in clips you never know what could happen right you could get multiple clips in one top 10 huge thank you for the consistency and quality of these clips now i chose this one over the other clip a little bit higher because of the fact that we're way deeper in those corners transitions looked a lot harder i love this clip a lot better the smoke everything about it i think this is definitely a uh, worthy top three clip man let me know your thoughts down below shred 402 with a 360 in vr 
on his full motion rig. I mean, it doesn't get any better or realistic than this. This man hit a fat 360. Let's watch this one more time in slow-mo because obviously uh, not everybody has the capability to run a rig like this, but this man is gonna throw it very hard and hold it. It's cool to see the rig in motion as it's happening. Huge thank you for sending that thing in, right? I mean, oh my God, hopefully we see more coming here from Shred. Number one this week, we're gonna be a vote for number one in the comment section down below, but this is gonna be going to E7 Tiger or Tigre. Uh, right, this one, Grand Theft Auto 5 once again with a massive train. I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than this. I mean, it can. You may break the game with a little bit of lag, but we got what? How many cars there? Two, four, six, seven, maybe eight cars on the back end there. Really enjoyed that, seeing all the cars in here. But this was the one of the clips that I really liked for today. This was from Gogzi. And uh, this was just a wild chase run. I mean, you can see the aggression on this clip diving into the door, but keeping consistent, controlled at the same time. And I just really like the energy from this chase run here. Huge thank you for all the drivers, all the clips for sending it in for today. Uh, huge thank you for bringing back top 10 drifts. There were so many people that were just, you know, behind the scenes, you know, pushing me to do better on this series, to bring it back. And hopefully I did it justice for our first episode back in 2022. We're going to slide into a couple montages here before we go today, but uh, just a huge thank you once again. Vote down below who you think is taking home number one here. Tough choices for sure. Obviously, the 7-8 car train on Grand Theft Auto 5 was really cool coming from E7. Then we also have that really aggressive chase run from Gogzi. Huge thank you to everybody that did participate. We have, of course, the montages out here coming from TSN Lone Wolf and uh, Versace 77 with a nice little montage. Um, all of these clips can be found in the Discord server on the top 10 list. So for the first time, you can actually kind of go through, maybe if you would like to start rating those clips in the Discord server, maybe more attention, um, I'll see those clips a little bit more. But uh, right, I mean, I don't know, there's just there's so many things to do in that Discord server. I really want to get a little bit more uh, involved in 2022 with you guys, with the server, with games, with online lobbies, and uh, that is obviously going to be the main hub to do so. So make sure you guys go ahead jump into that server a uh, huge thank you to everybody that did come around for the top 10 drifts right that is probably going to be it for today we have a couple other things going down here one more montage of the day here coming from grand theft auto 5 5m i mean there's just so much things to do on 5m we need to jump back into that game the rp session is very fun as well too it's just a matter of getting into good service that's the biggest thing right so we're going to finish this off a little grand theft auto 5 5m montage here from josh b huge thank you uh for everybody that has been a part of this channel for how many years you've been a part of it months days it does not go unnoticed huge thank you to everybody that is listening to this at the moment if you've stayed all the way to the end let me know your favorite clip from all of them down below and also too if you want to hashtag fast and furious down below in the comment section nobody's going to understand what's going on but only the people that are here to the end hashtag fast and furious huge thanks for watching i'll see you guys back here tomorrow on the channel top 10 drifts of the week february week one we're done all right i'll see you guys back here i'm out peace